In tonight's act of kindness, a way for you to be kind to yourself. If you're itching to get out of the house, blogger Michelle Dorward Jones has an idea for you that perhaps you're overlooking. It is a place that has more than 67,000 works of art spanning 6,000 years, and it's right here in Cincinnati. Have you seen these stairs along Gilbert Avenue? If you're looking for a fun, creative, visually stimulating way to spend the day, just take the steps all the way up to the beautiful building at the top of the hill. We are at the Cincinnati Art Museum. It's one of my favorite places because it has so much great art inside and it has the art climb outside. But the rest of this story is about everything inside because March 9th, for the first time since the pandemic changed everything, the museum's returning to its normal open days, Tuesday through Sunday, and there's a lot to see. Well, this March, um, we have our special exhibition, Frank Dubinek, American Master. Uh, he's one of the most incredible artists come out of the city of Cincinnati. If you've been downtown, chances are you've gotten a glimpse of this homage to his work. Just one example of connecting the everyday to the art on the walls. You can bring your family. They have little scavenger hunts that you can download on your phone so the kids are occupied while they're looking around. I think it's a great place to bring your significant other. Even if they're like a sports fan and they're like, I don't know about art. I guarantee you they're going to take a selfie with the Pete Rose pop art. And it's also just a wonderful place to come by yourself and roam around. You will always find something new, even if you come all the time. The installation that fills an entire room is called All the Flowers Are For Me. It is a meditative piece that really uses light and shadow to induce an emotional reaction in visitors, and it really is a space for meditation and reflection. To understand what motivated the artist, go see it in person. The full description is there, along with so many other pieces that capture the imagination. Art is in the eye and the beholder, and I think there's something in here for everybody's eye. <laughs> There sure is, and you know what? We didn't even get to the fact that you can have a beautiful meal and a beautiful setting at the Museum Cafe, but before you treat yourself, which is a kind thing to do, of course, you still have to make an appointment to visit the museum. Go to CincinnatiArtMuseum.org. Keeping in mind, general admission is free, and that's possible because of kind donors.